My name is Victoria Osenya de Udo, and I work for the Africa Center for Leadership, Strategy and Development Center, LSD. I work there as the program coordinator, and I double as the M&E coordinator of the center. The Build Grants is funded by Ford Foundation, and it's basically for institutional strengthening, to strengthen center LSD as an organization, strengthen our system, strengthen our structure. When we started to conceive the projects, we saw some gap in our system and some gap in the implementation of pro program and projects. And one of the gap that was for us um, needing urgent attention was that the center as the name implies is leadership, strategy and development. And over the past 10 years of its existence have been standing on one pillar, which is the development uh, part of the center. The development parts have been strong and um, we know it's work in progress. But strategy and leadership have been sort of, uh, there have been gap and we needed to fill that gap. And so the first thing that we thought should happen is to make the pillars stand on their own. The same way development was standing, we wanted the leadership to stand same and strategy to stand. And the build grants, we said, is for institutional strengthening. And it was for two angles, from segmented into two parts. One was to build center LSD, and the second one was to strengthen what we were doing already in the extractive sector by Osiwa, to strengthen it. But this time, looking at it from the gender lens, to interrogate the systems and those structures that have put women in disadvantage in the extractive sector. So far, it's been wonderful uh, being the project lead of the build grants. So far, we've had a series of activities across the three states that we targeted for the build um, grants. We've been working in Eboi, Taraba, and Ekiti State. So far, we've had the first, the first activity was the stakeholder interface, where we brought different stakeholders in the extractive sector in the mining community, the mining host community, um, Ministry of Environment, um, Federal Mines officers, we brought multi-stakeholders who sat down together and figured out without data what were the issues in the community in the state. We had the stakeholder interface, we had the policy dialogue where we interrogated the data that came from the field um, looking at what uh, women face in the extractive sector, we had capacity building for miners, artisanal miners, and mining host communities. And now the final activity is a town hall meeting where uh, we'll also be bringing together the stakeholders that we've worked with since the inception of the build grants to figure out how we fed what has changed since when we started um, till now, 10 months in the implementation of the build grants. Looking at the impacts of the build grants in Taraba, in Ekiti and in Eboi, we have seen increase in women participation in leadership position in the extractive sector. We have seen increased in the number of women who are now employed in the extractive sector, we have seen increase in livelihood. We have said the reason, some of the reasons the report shows that puts women in disadvantage in the extractive sector is their inability to purchase the equipment they needed to actively um, participate in that sector like the men counterparts. And so we taught livelihood and we've seen increase in livelihood over the past few months. We've seen increase in the knowledge materials. Before now, we had limited research in gender-based violence in the extractive sector. So we decided to work with MBS to produce a research looking at the different issues and the different violence, the different gender violence in the extractive sector as it affects both the men and the women. We've also seen increase in leadership skill. Before now, women we are leadership shy, but now they're beginning to take leadership position and to actively participate, not just passively, but they're also now actively uh, players in the extractive sector.
Looking at the impact of the build grants in Central LSD, we can say it has been amazing, amazing 10 months of implementing the build grants. We've seen improved structure, we've seen Central LSD's um, leadership structure standing, strategy standing. So far we have new campuses across states in Nigeria. We, we are currently planning opening campuses in West Africa country. That will happen in the early part of 2022, next year. In strategy, we've seen Center LSD in June, May, we became a center for Institute of Strategic Management of Nigeria. And our products, students who pass through that system were part of the induction that took place around July this year. We also signed a partnership with the International Center for Parliamentary Study. So we are going international, we are going West Africa, we are going um, Africa. We also see improve in our system. Our MIA system have improved, our finance system have improved, our IT system have amazingly improved. We've seen innovation by staff and colleagues, people who have passed through the various trainings we had under the build grants. We've seen innovation and improve efficiency and effectiveness in the work that we deliver as a center. The next step in the build grants, this year was just like the pilot phase, it was the first year of implementation. The build grants will run for five years. If for one year, let's say 10 months, we have harvested so much results, we look forward to the next four years and we pray God keep us alive, it's going to be amazing.